Today, all new. Hello, America. I'm gay. 25 years of groundbreaking shows. Today is National Coming Out Day. One of the world's greatest athletes. A landmark interview. Were you scared? 15 years later, Olympic hero Greg Luganis. They were married seven years, but she's gay. Gaynes chose this stage, ours, to speak out publicly in front of an audience for the first time about a secret that he had been keeping for years, that he was gay and HIV positive. This was a very big deal then. Take a look. It's been so difficult, you know, with the secrets and, you know, asking people to keep those secrets. It's an incredible burden. I mean. I got to the point where I would just, you know, hide in my house with my dogs because I knew it was safe because I was, I always had to, if I was out in public, then I had to edit myself and I had to, you know, um... So were you always feeling, though, Greg, like a fake then? Were you feeling like a fake? I, I was feeling like a fake and also I was feeling like, how could anybody accept me if they knew me? Uh-huh. Were you scared? Were you scared of what this day would be? I know any time I've ever made an announcement and, and, uh, uh, or, or kept a secret and then made the announcement, the fear is, is that you're going to wake up the next day and nobody's going to like you anymore. The yeah. whole world's going to turn against you. Well, that, that's what the fear was. I mean, the reason for the secrets. And um, now the rest of my life is um, about not having secrets and living my life openly and honestly. So, Greg? On that show that day was a 12-year-old boy named Michael. Take a look at this. I was really struggling to try to come that I grew up in was a very conservative type of household. I was definitely afraid if my parents found out I was gay, they were going to just dis disown me. Please welcome Greg Luganis. When I saw Greg Luganis on the Oprah show, I was blown away. I, I could not believe that here was an Olympic gold medalist speaking his truth to the world about who he really was. After the show, I still knew that I wasn't going to be able to come out anytime soon, but it still planted the seed within me. I had come out my freshman year of high school. My mother sat me down and asked me, did I think I was gay? And in that moment, I thought about Greg saying that he was going to be living a truthful and honest life. And I knew that I had an opportunity to mirror that. So I told my mother, no, I don't think I'm gay. I know I'm gay. Today, I live in Hawaii. I have a great partner. If you would have told me as a 12-year-old boy that this would have been my life, to know that him coming out and writing his book was instrumental in forming and shaping the person that I am today. Wow. So you were a 12-year-old boy. I was 12. What's a 12-year-old boy watching the Oprah show? I, I, I wasn't allowed to watch Oprah. I wasn't allowed to watch a lot of television, but my parents worked um, long hours. They were self-employed, and so they would usually come about home about 5, and you were on about 4. Yeah. So. I made sure that between four and five, I was watching your show, and in between commercials, I was running to make sure that the car wasn't pulling up to the oh. driveway. <laughs> Such a sweet thing. So you've grown up with me. Thank you I so much. I have grown up with you. It's so interesting. Um, I always think that the, the real point of celebritum, of being known, is that you can use your life in a way to help other people. And I think that Greg Luganis being on the show that day, I felt that when he was here, you know? I always feel when somebody is doing something in earnest, that other people will receive that. I didn't Absolutely. know that it was a little 12 year old boy. Absolutely. Did you ever reach out to him or write him or want to say to him? Actually, actually it's funny. I've, I've written him several emails over the years and I've never gotten a response. I know he's really busy, but I just wanted him to know that he really, as a young boy, he really <laughs> impacted my life. I'm here, I'm here. So when you were here that day, 1995, yeah. obviously that was a big deal. Yeah, but it was, it was really scary because, you know, coming forward and, and wondering if how people will react. Yeah. And it was just such a relief 
you know, that I could live my, my life. So when you left here, yeah. did it feel like relief? Did it feel like, okay, that's oh done? Or did it feel like? I mean, it was unbelievable mm -hmm. because people were coming to me and saying, you saved my life. Mm. You know, and it's just like, I, you know, because that's what we're trying to do is make a difference, you know, by just being who we are. What does this feel like for you? It's just so <laughs> surreal. <laughs> I just, I remember what it was like when I was 12. I was on my elbows watching the, watching the show and I just, it's, I had never seen another gay person. I thought I was the only one. And the thing is, I mean, I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I did. I mean, I, I know that, you know, that sense of despair, you know, I, I, I felt that. I mean, I, I went through the whole, you know, suicide, <laughs> you know, attempts and all that stuff because who could love me? You know, I felt uh, damaged. So at the time that you did it, you weren't doing it because you wanted to save other lives or were you? I mean, in doing it for myself, but, but also doing it for others. If I could reach out and, and touch somebody, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and give them strength to, to know that they're not alone. So I mean, Greg, as he, as he said, has been living with HIV for more than 20 years, yeah. and he's now 50, the five over. Yeah, I know. So how is your health? Good, good. So do you take a combination of drugs every yeah. day still? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I took them just before I came on. You know, I wouldn't wish my drug regimen on anyone. I mean, I'm managing it, but I wouldn't wish it on anyone. I got you. I got you. You know, because some of the therapies are pretty severe. How do you, how far do you think we've actually come in this conversation about being gay in particular since 1995? I think we've come a long way. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, we really have come a long way because we have more images out there. Don't you, know? you think that the more images, I mean, the one that, comes to mind right now, you know, it's Modern Family, where you have a gay yeah. couple on. So having more, more people who represent being gay in such a positive light, don't you think that that's really helped most, to break down the images? Most definitely. Yes. There, there are those images that are out there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people living their lives openly and honestly, you know, it's just, you know, it's important. You really have paved the way for a, for a lot of us. Oh. We'll be right back. You're right back.